California's climate varies widely, from hot desert to subarctic, depending on latitude, elevation, and proximity to the coast. Coastal regions, the Sierra Nevada foothills, and much of the Central Valley have a Mediterranean climate, with significantly warmer temperatures and less rainfall in the summer than in the winter. The influence of the ocean generally moderates temperature extremes, creating warmer winters and substantially cooler summers along the coastal areas. Temperature range The cool California current offshore, enhanced by upwelling of cold subsurface waters, often creates summer fog near the coast, creating a warm summer Mediterranean climate. Further inland, the climate becomes more continental, with some areas turning semi-arid, with colder winters and markedly hotter summers. Low-lying inland valleys, especially the Central Valley, have a hot summer Mediterranean climate, with subtropical temperatures but a well-defined summer dry season and a foggy, rainy season in winter. The temperature gradient between immediate coast and low-lying inland valleys in the south is about 7 a degree Fahrenheit in winter and in summer roughly 25 a degree Fahrenheit. However, during the cooler winter months the Coachella Valley regularly has the warmest winter temperatures out of any place west of the Rocky Mountains. East Los Angeles, Gateway Cities, and parts of San Gabriel Valley region averages the warmest winter high temps in all of the western U.S., and Santa Monica averages the warmest winter lows in all of the western U.S. Palm Springs, a city in the Coachella Valley, averages high mean temperatures of 75 a degree Fahrenheit per 50 a degree Fahrenheit per 63 a degree Fahrenheit, respectively during the period of cooler weather from November to April. The temperature difference is most dramatic nearer the coast. For example, the average daily high in San Francisco in July and August is 72 a degree Fahrenheit and in Walnut Creek, some 20 miles inland, the average daily high in July and August is 90 a degree Fahrenheit, a temperature gain of approximately 1 degree per mile. In the south, the figures are approximately 4 a degree Fahrenheit and 23 a degree Fahrenheit, respectively. At the Santa Monica coast, the average high in August is 75 a degree Fahrenheit, while in Burbank, approximately 10 miles inland, the average high in August is 95 a degree Fahrenheit, a temperature gain over 1 degree Fahrenheit per mile. The temperature gradient is most extreme between Santa Barbara and Death Valley, with temperatures between the two differing by 4 a degree Fahrenheit and 35 a degree Fahrenheit in the winter and summer. The extreme southwest, around San Diego, has a semi-arid warm steppe climate as winters are dry there. In San Bernardino winter lows average 40 a degree Fahrenheit and summer highs average 97 a degree Fahrenheit, because of the city's location 70 miles inland from the Pacific Ocean in Southern California. The southeastern regions have a hot arid climate, similar to that of the Sahara Desert. In the northern portion of the Majav Desert on the east side of the state is Death Valley, which has recorded temperatures among the highest in the world. It is common in the summer for temperatures in the valley to reach 120 a degree Fahrenheit. The highest reliably recorded temperature in the world, 134 a degree Fahrenheit, was recorded in Death Valley on July 10, 1913. Temperatures of 130 a degree Fahrenheit or higher have been recorded as recently as 2005. The 24-hour average July temperature in Death Valley is 101.8 a degree Fahrenheit. High and low average temperatures in various cities in California expressed in Fahrenheit and degrees. Precipitation The large westerly winds from the oceans also bring moisture, and the northern parts of the state generally receive higher annual rainfall amounts than the south. California's mountain ranges influence the climate as well, moisture-laden air from the west cools as it ascends the mountains, dropping moisture. Some of the rainiest parts of the state are west-facing mountain slopes. Northwestern California has a temperate climate with rainfall of 15 inches to 50 inches per year. Some areas of coast redwood forest receive over 100 inches of precipitation per year. The Central Valley has a wide range of precipitation. The northern parts of the Central Valley receive substantially greater precipitation from winter storms which sweep down from the Pacific Northwest while the southernmost regions of the Central Valley are near desert-like because of a lack of precipitation. Parts of the valley are occasionally filled with thick fog. 
the high mountains, including the Sierra Nevada, the Cascade Range, and the Klamath Mountains, have a mountain climate with snow in winter and mild to moderate heat in summer. Ski resorts at Lake Tahoe, Mammoth Lakes, and Mount Shasta routinely receive over 10 feet of snow in a season, and some years, substantially more a Euro leading, for example, to annual ski races on the 4th of July. On the east side of the mountains is a drier rain shadow. California's desert climate regions lie east of the high Sierra Nevada and Southern California's transverse ranges and peninsular ranges. The low deserts east of the Southern California mountains, including the Imperial and Coachella Valleys and the lower Colorado River, are part of the Sonoran Desert, with minimal frost in the winter. The higher elevation deserts of eastern California, including the Majave Desert, Owens Valley, and the Modoc Plateau, are part of the Great Basin region, which is a more continental climate. During the summer months, especially from July through early September, the region is affected by the Mexican monsoon, which drives moisture from the tropical Pacific, Gulf of California, and or Gulf of Mexico into the deserts, setting off brief, but often torrential thunderstorms, particularly over mountainous terrain. Despite its long coastline, California is not vulnerable to tropical cyclones. Because of the cold California current from the North Pacific Ocean and the fact that the storms tend to steer west, California has only been hit with two tropical storms in recorded history, a storm which came ashore in 1939 and dumped heavy rainfall on the Los Angeles area and interior deserts and tropical storm Nora. The remnants of tropical systems will affect California more commonly, every several years. The ENSO cycle has a huge effect on rainfall and snowfall patterns in California, especially during the winter and spring seasons. During the El Nia plus or minus O phase, the jet stream is located south through California, allowing for warmer temperatures and more heavy rains to occur, particularly in the southern portions of the state. During the La Nia plus or minus O phase, the jet stream is much further north, and therefore the far northern portions of California are wetter while the southern half stays cool and dry. Wildfires Summers in inland California can see temperatures well over 100 degree Fahrenheit during the day and less than 0.3 in of monthly rainfall, particularly in the southern areas. This makes them prone to wildfires. These can be life-threatening and cause evacuation. Wildfires are less common along the coast because of the cooler, more humid summers but can occur in autumn when the marine layer is less common, making temperatures warmer and humidity drop significantly. Glossary, the following are terms used to describe local or regional weather events. Santa Ana winds, Santa Ana's are hot, high winds that blow from the eastern mountains and deserts towards coastal Southern California, usually in the spring and fall. They are the result of air pressure buildup between the Sierra Nevada and the Rocky Mountains. This air mass spills out, is pulled by gravity, and circulates clockwise around the high-pressure area, bringing winds from the east and northeast. As the air descends in elevation, it heats up and the humidity plummets to less than 15%. It is often said that the air is heated and dried as it passes through the nearby deserts, but according to meteorologists this is a popular misconception. During Santa Ana conditions, it is typically hotter along the coast than in the deserts. As the Santa Ana winds are channeled through the mountain passes they can approach hurricane force. The combination of speed, heat, and dryness turns the chaparral into explosive fuel for wildfires. Pineapple Express, a complex combination of events, bringing high levels of torrential precipitation to California. The Pineapple Express occurs when the jet stream dips across California, and warm, humid air from the mid-Pacific is drawn towards California. The resulting combination can cause extraordinarily heavy rains. A January 2005 Pineapple Express dropped nearly 25 inches of rain in Santa Barbara County. Tool fog, a thick ground fog that settles in the San Joaquin Valley and Sacramento Valley areas of the California Central Valley. Tool fog forms during the mid-fall, winter to early spring after the first significant rainfall. This phenomenon is named after the tall grass wetlands of the Central Valley. Tall fog can extend from Bakersfield to Chico. 
Accidents caused by the tool fog are the leading cause of weather-related deaths in California. Visibility is usually less than an eighth of a mile, but can be less than 10 feet. May gray June gloom, a characteristic weather pattern of late spring in which a combination of inland heat, offshore cool water, and prevailing wind patterns bring foggy and overcast weather to coastal regions. From Point Conception northwards the gloom continues until early autumn. Marine layer, the cool, moist layer of air coming in from the ocean which typically includes fog. A standard weather phenomenon along the northern and central California coast from late spring to early fall. Earthquake weather, any unseasonal, uncomfortable weather, typically hot and more humid than usual, and often associated with high and mid-level clouds, is spoken of as earthquake weather. Gallery. See also, climate change in California, list of wettest known tropical cyclones in California, climate of Southern California. References. External links, more about the climate of California, climate of Northwest California.